Eliminating the deadliest threats of malware from a Windows computer typically involves a combination of using anti-malware tools, updating the system, and taking preventive measures. Download and run Malwarebytes. Visit the official Malwarebytes website. Open your web browser and go to the official Malwarebytes website, Malwarebytes. Download Malwarebytes. On the Malwarebytes website, look for the free download button. Click on it to start the download. Run the installer. Once the download is complete, open the downloaded file and run the installer. If prompted by user account control, click Yes, Install Malwarebytes. Choose your malware protection type, personal or business. Add a browser guard. This will enable you block scams, trackers, and malicious websites. Launch Malwarebytes. Once the installation is complete, Malwarebytes will automatically launch. If not, you can find it in your start menu or desktop and open it. Run a full system scan. In the Malwarebytes dashboard, click on the Scan tab. Click the Scan button to start the scan. Review and remove detected threats. Once the scan is complete, Malwarebytes will display a list of detected threats. Click on Quarantine or Remove to eliminate the identified malware. On completion, a threat scan summary will be presented to you. Click View Report to view the detected items and info about all the actions that occurred. Close the report and click Next. I recommend you schedule a weekly scan frequency to stay completely safe from malwares. Click Done and restart your computer to complete the removal process. Malwarebytes is an effective tool for detecting and removing malware from your system. Regularly update the program's database and perform scans to keep your computer secure. Run Hitman Pro. Visit the official Hitman Pro website. Open your web browser and go to the official Hitman Pro website. Hitman Pro. Download Hitman Pro. On the Hitman Pro website, look for the free 30-day trial button. Click on it to start the download. Choose the suitable architecture version for your computer. Run the installer. Once the download is complete, open the downloaded file and run the installer. If prompted by user account control, click Yes to allow the installer to make changes to your device. The Hitman Pro setup wizard will open. Install Hitman Pro. Click on the Next button to proceed with the installation. Choose the recommended option which will store a copy of Hitman Pro program file on the computer. Hitman Pro may automatically launch. If not, you can find it in your start menu or desktop and open it. You need to wait patiently as Hitman Pro scan for remnants on your computer. Review scan results. Once the scan is complete, Hitman Pro will display a list of detected threats. Review the list to ensure that you want to remove the identified malware. In my case, there are no threats on my computer, but if there is threats on yours, follow any on-screen prompts to complete the removal process. Hitman Pro is known for its effectiveness in detecting and removing various types of malware. Update your operating system. Updating your Windows operating system is crucial for maintaining security and ensuring that your system is protected against potential vulnerabilities. Open Settings. Press Win plus I to open the Settings menu. Go to Update and Security. Select Update and Security from the Settings menu. Check for Updates. In the Windows Update section, click on Check for Updates. Download and install updates. If updates are available, Windows will list them. Click on Download and then Install to initiate the update process. 
Restart your computer. After the updates are installed, you'll be prompted to restart your computer. Use the Windows Malicious Software Removal Tool, MSRT. Open Command Prompt. Press Win plus X and select Command Prompt, Admin, or Windows PowerShell, Admin, to open an elevated command prompt. Navigate to the MRT executable. Type the following command to navigate to the folder where the MSRT executable is stored. CD% Winder% Backslash System32. Run the MSRT. Type MRT command to run the malicious software removal tool. The tool will pop up. Click next to scan for and remove malicious software on your computer. Choose a scan type. The tool will ask you to choose a type of scan. The default is a quick scan, but you can choose a full scan for a more thorough check. Wait for completion. Allow the tool to run and complete its scan. The duration will depend on the scan type and your system specifications. Review results. After completion, the tool will display a summary of any malicious software it found and removed. Using the malicious software removal tool is a proactive step in enhancing the security of your Windows system. Remove browser extensions and plugins. Open Edge or any other browser type you use. Launch the browser on your computer. Access extensions. Click on the three horizontal dots in the top right corner to open the menu. Select Extensions. Review installed extensions. Check the list of installed extensions and remove any that you didn't intentionally install. Click on Remove next to the extension. By removing unwanted browser extensions and plugins, you can enhance the security and performance of your web browsers. If you notice unusual behavior, such as redirects or unwanted ads, it's a good idea to check your extensions for any potential culprits. Disconnect from the internet. Open settings. Press Win plus I to open the settings menu. Go to Network and Internet. Select Network and Internet from the settings menu. Turn off Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Under the Status tab, you'll find options to turn off Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Toggle the switch to the Off position. Disconnecting from the Internet is a temporary measure to prevent malware from communicating and spreading. After performing the necessary cleanup steps, ensure that your system is clean before reconnecting to the Internet. Create a System Restore Point. Creating a System Restore Point is a good practice before making significant changes to your computer, as it allows you to revert to a stable state if anything goes wrong. Open System Properties. Press Win plus X to open the Power User menu. Select System from the list. Access System Protection. In the System window, click on System Protection. Create a Restore Point. Under the System Protection tab, click on the Create button. Name your Restore Point. In the dialog box that appears, enter a descriptive name for your restore point. This will help you identify it later. Create the restore point. Click on the Create button to initiate the process. The system will now create a restore point, and you'll see a progress bar. Completion. Once the process is complete, you'll receive a confirmation message indicating that the restore point was created successfully. Verify restore points. After creating a restore point, you can verify its existence by going back to the System Protection tab and checking the list of available restore points. Creating a system restore point is a simple yet effective way to safeguard your system before making changes that could potentially impact its stability.